And we're back. And we are back on the cavalry. As you can see, we have a wonderful guest joining us, the one and only Kevin Bozeman. Hello, Kevin. What's up, team? How are you guys? We are great. We got a lot of energy. I could tell already a lot of energy. <laughs> we were both talking about how tired we were. But no, you came on before we uh, started. You were talking about your son's basketball game, and you said the score. It was like 40, 41 to 2 at 41 half. 41 to 2 at half. And the Johnny other team, the Johnny other had, team started rooting for us to get into the double digits. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny had to ask which sport, and that's when you know you're getting a beat down is when people can't tell what sport you're playing. All right. <laughs> All right. So, you know, because Johnny is tall and he only looks like an athlete. But deductive reasoning tells you that it's not going to be football because they're not going to be running high school football right before the Super Bowl. Right. Can it's you get not going to be, you it's not going to be baseball because there would be mercy run That's or true. soccer because soccer hasn't scored 41 goals in a whole <laughs> league in any sport. So right. deductive reason that tells you it's got to be it's got to be pretty much basketball and you know me, and I ain't going to any other sport but basketball. I think I'm about to show up in my son's softball game, and they get routed forty-one to two at half. Wait, you you wouldn't go to a football game? That's my point. Johnny, can you get? Can you have a sport like football? football, football game. You know, it's not gonna be a football game February first. No, no, I wouldn't know that. I don't know, but That's I my, feel like also my point, Johnny. I feel like you coach third base at a couple forty-one to two. That's true. You, That's your team true. was on the losing and side. The, and and the guy will hit a triple and the guy on second you'll hold. You'll be like, hold. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's right. I would Johnny. text I would text Andrew during games and be like, hey, uh, I had him run through third and everyone's pissed at me. Johnny would Johnny would wave him to the parking lot. It's like just everybody go home. This is yeah. over. Just run <laughs> run to your cars. Run to your car. Here's your orange slices. Yeah. Oh well. I'm a good I'm a good I'm But a you're good watching these games. Coach. I get texts from Johnny during the playoffs. Oh, he's That's like, funny. wow. As he's, wearing, as he's wearing his Jordan gear, he's like, What sport are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if Jordan just jumped off your fucking sweatshirt <laughs> and walked away with his head down. Shaking yeah. just shaking his head. Like what the they just let anybody wear this. Yeah. <laughs> This is a sweet. This is a sweet sweatshirt. I've had this for like I've had this for years. It looks it's comfortable. Probably th- it's probably the third time I've ever worn it because I don't want to get it all messed up. It looks comfortable. Oh, it is. It's so nice. It's great. But you're watching these uh, playoff games, Johnny, because I get texts from you now. Like, wow, well, I, I got yeah, what a I game. Get... <laughs> It's They're the most insincere Ted. The subtext is just, "Hey, Andrew, look, I'm watching, <laughs> I'm participating." And they, they are fantastic like fantastic games. This is a good year incredible. To get into football. That's good analysis. They are great game. I mean, like you sent those like in jest, but they really were like at the time you sent them. I was like, that was like the greatest game. I think it was the Chiefs Bills game. You texted me after, and I was like, "You oh. nailed it. It was quite the game." Yep. It's fun to watch. It's so fun. It's it's lovely to watch games when you like pretend you're like, okay, during the game, I'm a Chiefs fan. I got a stake in the game. And then when it's over and they lose, you're like, oh, well, I remember I don't give a shit. So this is pretty sweet. <laughs> that's very that's convenient. how I feel about soccer. Like when the U.S. soccer team makes the Olympics or the World Cup, because I'm like, I used to get into it because it was exactly that you know, we're playing England or something and I can go crazy. And if we win, I get all the high of like, you know, I'm an American. We won USA, all this shit. But if we lose, I just go right back to not giving a shit about soccer. <laughs> yeah, but and these it's, poor it's, English guys, if they lose, they like kill themselves, you know, but yeah. we're, but we're not going to win. Well, yeah, I mean, that's so you've <laughs> created a scenario that doesn't exist. <laughs> we'll get in. We've won a couple times. Haven't we won a couple times? I feel like we've beat I mean, somebody. we might have won two matches. Home, we beat Mexico. If we play them far enough north, we beat Mexico. Yeah, I mean, all we right. We have to get them up in Minneapolis. Uh, but I yeah, can't even that's... contribute to a soccer conversation. I can't even. Nor should you. No. Yeah, it's pretty boring. It's pretty boring. I don't know why people play it's it. It's good podcast talk. That's right. That's right. 
I've known I've known Kevin for quite a while. Uh, you, I don't remember what year it was. We were driving to the Looney Bin together, mm-hmm. and I was driving. And you were sleeping, right? And a little rock flew into the side of my car. <laughs> Kevin Killed just wakes bird. up and there's like feathers in the car because it was like open to crack, <laughs> and it's like part of this bird was just stuck in the crack. I was like, holy shit! Yeah, dude. Killed a bird. I remember that. Yeah. If the window was down and you were sitting up, you might you might be dead. Who knows? Solid ten hour drive, Holmes. Bird strike. Yep, yep, yep. Life on the road. Life on the road. I I never worked the Looney Bins, but I got an email from the guy recently. I sent yeah. him probably three or four in my life, you know, just with the veils. You can and, have my weeks. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I hear. If you want me to, I'll gift them. I'll t- <laughs> I'll pick the dates and then just say I'm not working these, but I got somebody that can do it. I've heard of that. And then he 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 sent me an email like uh, there was a fallout. I'm sure maybe it was your dates. Maybe you were giving them up. And uh-huh. uh, I was like, oh no, I can't do that week, you know. But I'd love to do. Uh, here are some weeks I can do. Nothing, just no reply. I mm-hmm. love that. Just the arrogance. It wouldn't right. it be great to live like that to just go. I don't need to be a you know regular human being who right. acknowledges other people's emails. Like I reached out asking for something, someone sent something, and you're just like, I'm never gonna talk to you again. It'd be great. Welcome. You're gonna to always be like that. Just know, no matter how big you get, <laughs> you're gonna always be like that. There's gonna be somebody that won't return your call or your or your email, and you'll be like, how fucking famous do I have to be? <laughs> Clearly, I'm not talking about me. No, but I know. No, no, I think you're right though. Because you yeah. could always just the it's like a I don't know if it's a power move or it's just a pure like Who is blowing off Kevin Hart? Somebody is. Somebody is. Well, trust me. Someone's the doing Oscars. it just for the story. The Oscars. Yeah. <laughs> the Oscars. Yeah. How frustrating. I can't I can't say I I don't know. That's a good problem to have, right? Yeah, the Oscars exactly. are just like the only ones that return your call. I wonder if he ever tries to bitch about that to his, his friends. <laughs> you yeah. think you had a bad day. His opener is making like 400 bucks that night, you know? It's like, God, these fucking Oscar guys won't call me Karma. back. Yeah. Karma, pay your, pay your openers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. Well, what do you think? Should we get into it? Let's get into it. Kevin, you got some topics, or do you want us to go first? Uh, Your call. Guests call. We are very courteous. I know you guys don't have, I only have one topic. All right. It's all right. That's yeah. all you need. Yeah. That's, right. that's, that's what I was told. <laughs> <laughs> You guys want me to do extra yeah. credit and shit? I looped Andrew in early just no, to cover my ass. No, Johnny's got Johnny's had a rough run of it here lately. Hey, man, if you, listen, I'm supposed to back you guys up or tear you down because if this if this shit, I'm tearing you down. Good. That's what we want. We want. Honesty. That's okay. We don't want right. blind support. That's boring. According I mean, to right. we, we've never had right. someone right. come. I know out I'm not going to. I know I'm not going to get support from for what I want. But I'm so just to let you guys know. So you guys go first, so you can feel comfortable. <laughs> Thank you for making us comfortable. So okay, you right, comfortable do with tearing me down when I get my dope ass. All right. You, you, Andrew, you want me to go or you want to go? Why don't you go, Johnny? And I'm right. nervous. Here's what I here's, want to get I'll, torn down. I don't, yeah, I don't mind if I get <laughs> torn down. I'm Here kidding. Here we go. It's Zoom. How bad can it be? It's a... <laughs> go ahead, Johnny. It's a podcast, baby. This doesn't get anywhere high stakes than this. So I think that. All right. I don't want to word it that there's too many podcasts because we're on a podcast and this is a very necessary podcast. But I think television shows do not need their own podcasts because I feel like it's gunking up the market for go getters like (laughs) us, like the cavalry and the ball hog. I'm watching I'm in some doctor's office and they're showing the Drew Barrymore has her own talk show. Right. And like I. So it's on the, sh- the TV and along the banner is this ad. Come listen to our Drew Barrymore companion podcast. Like everything has 
a podcast now. It started where it's like, oh, Drew Barrymore, you know, the show, The Office is on Twitter and Facebook. And now there's like The Office Companion podcast. I'm going to back you up on that. I, I it's, agree. It's bullshit. I, I agree because it's not really a podcast. All you're doing is re-airing the shit you aired. Yeah. And you're just putting it on podcast format. But it's not a podcast. It's just mostly at times it's... Now, if you are adding some behind-the-scenes shit... No, that's what it is. It's like, I mean, I haven't listened, but I assume it's, it's behind like commentary. The shit, it's then commentary. It's, then, 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 then I'm not back you anymore, and that's a podcast. <laughs> it, yes, it's, it let's is, say, it is let's a say podcast, for, but it's not necessary. Well, they certainly... It sure isn't it just is. the exact show released in audio format. It cannot be that. It, it can't I, be think, that. I think it is. <laughs> I think I think uh, partner interruption. Oh on yeah, ESPN, they yeah, like you're to right. check this out on the podcast, and I don't think they're adding in anything new. I What's think they're the just gee, take that fucking sweatshirt off. <laughs> what? Disgusting. This is an audio format. This, this is, is an audio this, format. It's a For show. Our I'm wearing a very sexy, <laughs> athletic Michael Jordan disgusting sweatshirt. Disgusting animal. What's it's the ESPN interruption? show, Johnny? It's, it's been a, on for 20 years. Yeah, it's a what kind of show? ESPN is a sports channel. Oh, ESPN. All right. <laughs> and uh, all right, you guys go ahead and talk. <laughs> I'm about to tap out this podcast and make this shit fucking. <laughs> this, this will be the first episode where our guest just storms <laughs> just off. Walks. We walk the guest. Uh, so I think they run it. And like, that's unnecessary. But if you're given something, let's just say numbers wise, if, if you got tuned in let's say a million people tuning in to anything not just a podcast a million people are tuning in to anything and it's dope and it's and it's so you got a built-in audience and then you have a podcast where 10 percent, 5 percent will tune in that's fifty thousand. Yes. addition that's fifty thousand listeners that's going to be like look i'm all about this show i want to know the ins and out of this show I want to know how the producers came up with the segments, the talking points. 50,000 people uh, a day, a week. A day is off the charts. A week is phenomenal. A month is also fucking fantastic for 50,000. That's just revenue for them. So why are you like... Well, I'm not, but I'm not, my point is not, hey, I don't think these shows will succeed. Of course they're going to succeed. They have a built in. See, you're looking at it from the mindset of, okay, when I get my show and I have my own TV show, I'm fucking making a podcast so I can just rake in all this additional max out. I'm looking at it as, hey, I'm probably not going to make it. So I, 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 this cavalry, there's too much (laughs) shit in the way of this cavalry. This is my way. (laughs) I think that's the same thing with stand up though. (laughs) <laughs> right there's people there's people out there that you are johnny without a doubt way funnier than them but they're just have gonna, you seen stormy daniels are you right. kidding have you they're seen just, stormy daniels said <laughs> they're just gonna make it and you have to grind it out and you can't tell those people that's ahead of you stop doing stand-up because you're taking away my stand-up time. You've already sure made can. it. You don't need to be doing this. <laughs> yeah, I like- Entertainment like, is set up to fail, for you to fail. You're not supposed to make it. I like, Johnny, that your assumption is that if it weren't for the Drew, like there's listeners out there, there's a human being out there that loves the Drew Barrymore podcast, and they're one- podcast away from yeah. ours they're like if that one didn't exist the next one in their queue yeah. is the cavalry and they just can't quite get it to it because you guys, are, you definitely, you guys are definitely adhering to the same target <laughs> that's right yeah well, i'm drinking by the way i don't know if you guys that. no i know that's like a magic wine glass he keeps getting i don't know when you're refilling it your hands are not it's on got the more in it every time it comes up <laughs> no yeah it's done now it's oh, done no. i'm gonna disappear and get a repeat unless I, johnny's got more well, I here's the thing, but like, the off- okay, so here, tell me this. So The Office, I, I haven't listened to it, but I've seen posts, so I know it's not just them playing the audio of Office episodes. It's like two or it's like two or three of the, you know, lesser celebrity girl cast members just talking about, oh, my God, remember that episode where you got hit by a car? What was, oh, my God, remember that? Oh, yeah, the guy that played Dwight was so funny that day, like. 
Is that really need to be out there? Does that really need to be out there? I don't know. What's the What's the listenership? I don't. It's know. high. It's like one Kevin, of the top. No I, the office ladies. It's like one of the top we, podcasts. Before. I know, but I'm I'm guessing. Kevin's. All I'm going. About you success. see, you're going with you're going by numbers. I'm going with my heart. No, see, that's just it. My podcast is shit, but I do it for love of the game. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even have, I'm, I barely have fucking guests. Like, who wants to listen to me ramble about sports and gambling for an hour? Certainly not Johnny Beaner. I, that's not I, have to me. It, I do it for love of the game. And if it gets picked up and it blows up, then so be it. There you go. If you do it for love of the game, every, everything else will take care of itself. But just think of how higher, how much higher your numbers would be if The Office didn't have its companion podcast. You ever think about that? There's a really good chance that the people that listen to that podcast, I don't want listening to my podcast anyway. Ooh. You ever think about that? Wow. We'll take them. This is the most confident guest we've ever had on in our life. <laughs> How's that confident? That is, I just There's told you that no my podcast you. is shit. <laughs> my podcast is trash. <laughs> You hear my sound system? This is the same sound system I use for my podcast. It's trash. It's garage band. It's fucking trash. So uh, for like 12 episodes, I had some old headphones and I and then people say, like, hey man, I like your podcast, but you need to check the sound. I was like, the fuck you mean sound? And I listened to one of the episode and in the background it's just a <laughs> like a someone vacuuming a, behind you. Yeah, dude, that's brutal. Just like the the mic, the microphone it went out, so it just made this weird noise. And you got so you got people commenting on the quality. What did you reply? Hey, fuck you! I don't want you as a fan. <laughs> no, I <laughs> go did listen not. to the office, you picky. Bitch. I would never say that. Uh, I would I would think it. It depends on who's listening. Sure, sure. Okay, but what about those podcasts where? So you're talking about Johnny sh- shows podcasts that are produced as with the show but there's also podcasts about shows like i used to listen because i'd watch game of thrones and then they had a podcast that would like break down the episode and talk about what happened and what they think is going to happen theories and i actually that i I did enjoy listening to that but that's not that's like that's not like an official that's not an official Uh, game of thrones that's like a fan no it was not put out by the show it was put out by this uh other thing the ringer i think did it sure i'll listen to like i i like counting crow i would listen to a counting crows podcast a fan made where you just go and talk about counting (laughs) the hell is happening right now you guys know i gotta drive through a snowstorm tomorrow right (laughs) oh i'm sorry are we keeping you up where are you going tomorrow for dodge iowa Oh, that's not that where bad. the ballers go. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, I heard you about like that. that. Yeah, right. A little six and a half hour drive in a snowstorm. Things would be yeah. great. Ooh. Nice. Well, right. does that does that so does so does my crash and burn topic give you confidence in your topic? Oh wait, I but Johnny, I'm saying well, I my confidence. Is, I'm I think Andrew's you with you. I'm backing you up, Johnny. I do think there are. You're right about the the shows don't need to produce podcasts about their show. I'll back you up on that. That's Are there two? I backed you up. And yeah, I you divided it into two scenarios. I was like, if it's just a podcast running itself and show again, like no. But if they're, but if they got a fan base and people want to know how the show works behind the scene, then that's I would actually 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 argue that that's the perfect podcast. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. I think tomato, you gotta take tomato. what you get. He he came on saying he was gonna shred you, so I think you. And I didn't shred you at all. You didn't get shredded. I thought you. So. I thought you started out strong, and then, <laughs> and then you fizzled. got you got you got aggressive. You got aggressive. <laughs> I got defensive. I, like, I got like, defensive because out of the gate like, I was told I was about to be eviscerated. Like what date is like, yo, we make it out, and then you go in, try to do the wrap around and go for the puss, and she's like, no, we just. <laughs> making out and that's what you did to me that's what i, I felt like, cool. like that's what i felt like it's not cool your push. kiss my neck yeah. kiss my neck get off old, my puss old johnny go for puss. the puss beaner get off my puss beaner yeah 
<laughs> That's what they called me back in grade school. Lay off my man, puss beaner. <laughs> it's too soon. All right, so I'll take that as a, I'll take that as a one and a half, one and a half support. Yeah, one and a half. Yeah, not supporting. I'll take it. All right, all right, all right. Here we Who's go. Who's up? Who's up? I'm, I'll go. I'll go. I'm ready to take my punishment. Right. No, I actually think you guys are going to back me up on this. But uh, so uh, my wife follows like some some of these like mom blogger, Instagram influencer type uh, mom people. And they're always <laughs> like, you know, you know what a mom is anyway. So she uh, these pe- they always dress their kids like so cool they don't wear like kid all, they're always like hey look at this and like for baby clothes or one-year-old two-year-olds and they're always like they look like kanye or something they're always dressed like in the like way nicer clothes than i've ever had in my life so so cool and then sometimes you think maybe i should get my kid some really cool clothes and dress them as a cool put cool sunglasses on them and, you know Bow-tie. as their whole as they grow up you're just constantly getting them like like jordans or getting them cool clothes and then they're going to be the coolest kid in school. And then they're going to be too. And so my argument is, though, that sounds good because you want your kid to be popular and cool. But also, you don't want your kid to be too cool. Like, I feel like you have to dork up your kid a little bit because if they're like super, like if they're like the coolest kid, those are the ones that like, you know, get on pills. And you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> those are the ones that get fucked up. Sure. Like you, that 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 trajectory is always bad. You don't want to peak too early, you know. You want to have to be a dork for a little bit at some point in your life. So I think you should not get your kid too much dope stuff early, especially with clothes, because you want to you want to dork them up a little bit, like bad overalls or something, so that they stay so they like character. sort of upper middle class of coolness, so that they you know what I mean. That's yeah. that's my take. Yeah, that's. Go ahead, Johnny. You go first. Well, are you saying so? You you want them to like you're in control. What if it's like a total? What if your kid is a fucking dork? But they're <laughs> well, they're be- fine. Like, right. But uh-huh. you have no control over that. I mean, you can I try. Know. Yeah. The clothes but- <laughs> can only do so much. But as far as your point, like I think yes, I don't think you should spoil them and and have them all be this fashionista because. Then they're not. How are they going to ever build character? That's what I was always told growing up when I come home crying. But Johnny, would you say are your kids? You're they're getting old enough where you can actually tell. Are they like cool? Are they the cool kids in class? Are there kids in class? See, it's hard to say because like uh, my kids. I mean, the older ones are second and third grade, and I mean even the cool kids dress like fucking idiot. Like I don't think they (laughs) even know what cool is. You know Uh, what I mean? I don't think they care. That's good. That's what you want. You want that that innocence. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's going to that's going to fade some point. But I'm saying sometimes you see these pictures, they dress in them in like these high end fashion clothes. I mean, that can't be good. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what were you going to say, Kevin? I mean, I, I agree. Like it's a uh, it's just pairing in one on one. Like, you know. It's a softball topic. Okay, hey, wait. <laughs> so now you're coming at me the other way. You're coming at me yeah, the other way. Where you're like, of course I agree. Any right. dumb motherfucker would know that. <laughs> Guys, I just feel like when you're, when you got shoes with laces, I just feel like they should be tied. I no, just, this is not just common. When you're out people, there with your untied shoelaces and stuff, people I just don't like think that dressing that's a their, good look. This is bullshit. People, that is not a straw man thing. People like dressing their kids up now to be like you know but that's they're doing that for them they're not doing i know for the kid yeah but i think it translates i think then they go to school and then they're like the fucking coolest kid in class you know you don't want to give them too much confidence you don't want to give them too you just don't want them to be the coolest kid in class that's all i'm saying you you just say that kid's in trouble you can have that if you need these new jordans or new whatever or this sweet Jordan sweatshirt or the sweet Jordan sweatshirt is yours. I'm just not going to get it for you. You got to work for it. And therefore it's now a teachable moment. Like you got to get out and work for it. And well, then what, once what they earn that money, second grader. Same. <laughs> same. You okay. can always work for it. Do chores around the house, whatever. 
Right. Fucking make sure you double wipe your ass. I'll have to come in and check it and wash skid marks. Is there money? It's all sorts of things. Is there money, in, money that in that to double wipe your ass? <laughs> if I don't want to, if I, as a parent, don't want to wash your skid marks or come in and double check your ass because you're seven and you're not digging deep into the cave, I might say, if you want these shoes to light up, these dope ass Buzz Light Years. Mm hmm. Wipe your ass better. Uh, I'm just saying, I, I I get it. Make up your bed, take the garbage out, put the dishes away. All things the seven year olds can do. You can make them work for it. But also, what seven year old is actually is that the age that they start craving dope shit, so. or is it just? Do you have kids? I yeah I, 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 I have a seven and eight. How old are your kids? I know you do, Beener. I have a daughter. She's she's a year old. Well, there so you I'm go. I'm thinking so you're, about you're, you're talking about something that's not. I don't think seven year olds are ever saying, "I need this to go to school," because otherwise, the other seven year olds are going to look down on me. Okay, but what I want to say that starts to happen around eleven or twelve. Okay, fine. So what I'm saying is, what if your 12-year-old is indisputably the coolest kid in their class by no doing of your own, by no buying of shit for them, of no, you know what I mean, no. I think you should actively try to bring them down the coolness ladder because that will only impede their success in life. So force no, them to don't. do something embarrassing. If you just said that the kid is cool and dope effortlessly, yeah, without putting the effort, that's just dangerous. Cool, yeah, that's nah, dangerous. Man, don't go shitting on the kid's aura because what if you dampen that spirit and then they never get it back? <laughs> well, like you used to be so cool. <laughs> now you out here sucking dick for sandwiches. Yeah. What happened? Well, my I... father, my father thought I had it too easy at the age of twelve. Yeah, he thought that everyone looked up to me, and so he. <laughs> He sabotaged my coolness. That's what I'm going to do. Because he was clearly never cool as an adult. <laughs> Wait a minute. So Who said that? He came back. It was like, no, that's not this. That's not what, how this family works. That's not in this whoa, 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 this whoa, is whoa, not, whoa. It's just not in the brochure. <laughs> this, that is not what this was about. It's me trying to make sure my daughter doesn't eat. You've always been own. a Langham. We're going to always stay a Langham. That's Ozark I don't like how this is uh, turned on me here, but okay. Well, so it sounds like you're saying Kevin that it's too obvious, and no, I'm not saying it's too obvious now. At first, it started out too obvious. Now you're just way off. If a kid <laughs> is naturally cool, <laughs> you let the kid be naturally but what cool. What about because okay. you know? And hold on, let me let me reflip it. Have you ever seen that was growing up? And I'm sure you guys have gone through this. I'm sure of it. Growing up, we there's this girl around in our neighborhood, lived down the street from me. Her name was Dana. She was tall and gangly, and we called her Dana the Goofy Girl. She had braces and glasses, and everybody's just like, get away, Dana the Goofy Girl. Yeah. Then we Sounds didn't like see her parents her. were doing a good job. Yeah. We didn't see, see her for a couple of summers. Then she came back. And she was model S, and everybody's like, "Holy shit, Dana the Goofy Girl!" And she just hung out at the park and just watched basketball. And I know the only reason why she stayed there and watched basketball was to show everyone, "Look how fucking fine I am now." Mm -hmm. My point is, flip it. If that kid is cool, he this may be his cool face, and he's getting it out the way. And you want to shit on it and mm -hmm. stuff it out. This might be the only time he's cool. At the age of 15, he might become Dane the Goofy Boy. But right now, he's Dane the Cool Kid. But Let him have it as long as you just said he's doing this effortlessly. I don't know why Beaner is not wholeheartedly agreeing with me on no, this. No, I totally am. I was just waiting so I could say that's a great point. Great point, Kevin. No, but like think, okay, so like I think back of like high school or even junior high and you think of like the top of the pecking order, like 
the most popular kids or the coolest kids. And usually it didn't always end great. Like when you look at it, they got, they might've gotten yeah. into some trouble. Might, so I think there's an art to peaking as a human being. They peak too soon. That's just, yeah. So you, your job as a shoots, parent, everyone shoots their wad. <laughs> your job as a parent is to make sure they don't shoot their wad too early. That's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if that's. I mean, you the use the phrase job. "wad." I wasn't gonna say that. I don't know I mean, if the parents' job. If, if you told me that, like, listen, if your kid is shooting his wad early, <laughs> you want to go, listen, man, I'm gonna put you in a position where everyone else is shooting their wad. I'm gonna make sure when everyone else has shot their wad, you're still shooting your wad. Yeah, you still <laughs> you're got some be, wad left. You're Unlimited gonna be a, wads. You're gonna be a. You're gonna be a chronic <laughs> wad shooter. Endless you wads. Shoot your wad. That's what I'm going to do. You can have some peaks and valleys because that's how life is. You don't shoot your wide. But I'm going to make sure you're going to always be reloaded and you're going to keep shooting yeah. your wide. And you're going to reinvent yourself and you're going to be whoever, that dude, that girl, whatever, and make sure you live your best life. If you put your kids and make sure that they're living their best life, to me, that is always shooting your wide. And you will always be the coolest. That sounds As like a dad, the, uh, it's your job to be the semen X. Yeah. What? <laughs> well, I'm just re I'm just rewording what you were saying, Kevin, right? No, no, no. Never said that. No. That's cool, though. I accept it. I'm semen X. Uh, well, I, I, uh, I'm sensing neither of you are backing me up, but that's okay. I'm not backing down from my take. I think you can... Is your craft... take is your take to have and be yeah. buried with? Well, it's really more going to be bad for my daughter than me, but uh, well, gonna, hopefully I'm gonna she experiment doesn't peak till later. Yeah, no, she won't. I'm going to put maybe her on the perfect, actually be cool. the perfect she'll be, arc. Maybe she'll be cool enough to realize to hide it from you. Oh, God, that see, that's horrible, because that's when you really know they're doing drugs. Is they're hiding how cool they are. Yeah, that scares the they shit got out of me. Dad thinking they're a nerd, but really, yeah, they're like, cool. oh, look at this good. They really, they're crack holes. Yeah, that's what I don't want. <laughs> All right, enough of this shit. Now, now I'm, I'm Moment of truth, ready Kevin. for this. So go ahead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what do you need backup on, Welcome Kevin? to the terror, though. <laughs> <laughs> this show is not supposed to be a competitive format. It's supposed to be a supportive format. It clearly family. is a competitive format. No, that's you guys so are funny. Like, you brought it you back. You guys are like, you want us to back you up? We, uh, we will either back you up or not back you up. I know you guys are going to struggle backing me up on this. A thousand percent. I would not get a hundred percent. All right. Back up. I'm excited. I'm going to try. All right. Uh, goat cheese is the best cheese. Oh, for God's sakes. I said it. I said it. Uh, wait, wait, fact, wait, 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 uh, goat cheese. Time out. Time you know what it goes out. well with? Wine. Hey, I don't, I don't want you to go much farther. I don't want you to go much farther. I just want to ask one question. Johnny, have you ever had goat cheese? Because <laughs> my goat guess cheese. is no. You never had All goat right. cheese. Before had goat I cheese. answer that question, Johnny, I just want to know how long ago Kevin came up with this topic <laughs> since he said it and then he held up what he was currently eating. Well, I brought goat cheese at the table. Lizzo, if you haven't had goat cheese, shame on you. Shame on you. I'm over under. Johnny. Shame on you. Shame on you, missionary style. I have had goat Half cheese. Blue ribbon. Oh, yeah. married. Yes, I have Half had goat blue cheese. ribbon. Drinking motherfuckers. I was going to say over under three total types of cheeses Johnny's had in his entire life, but I guess he's over because goat cheese is way better than American cheese. It's not even close. Well, that's not the only American cheese, cheese. Well, that's there's a different blue topic. Cheese, there's cheddar. There's Swiss, blue cheese. Is, there's... Blue cheese is a one hand note. Blue cheese is terrible. That's blue like, cheese it tastes is like paint. It tastes like paint. I like blue cheese. Blue cheese is great, but it can only go with a couple of things. What about Parmesan? Parmesan. Parmesan. Parmesan's the best cheese. Parmesan cheese is always. Parmesan's great. A, a, Parmesan cheese is always a sidekick. What's the last time you had a what's no. the last time? cheese? No, when was the last time you had a Parmesan grilled cheese sandwich? Well, you're right. It's with other cheeses, but so... Because it's a sidekick. 
I cannot stand alone. Well, just because you're sitting there eating a piece of but that's because it's a grilled cheese. cheese. You know what I'm not doing? Having what? shredded parmesan. I would. I saw. I, I saw have. This. I have. I would, and I have. Listen, Wolfgang Puck parmesan eat- cheese. Parmesan cheese is absolutely, positively amazing. It can enhance so many different things, but it is best used as a sidekick. Okay. Yeah, I got this spaghetti and this pasta sauce. You know what I'm going to do? Finish it off with a little Parmesan. Is that bad? What, what is that accent? Is that bad? That's me. I'm, in, I'm a chef in the kitchen. <laughs> well, when you think that that's not my voice. No, okay. that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm well, not like, shitting like... on other cheeses. I am just telling you that the best cheese is goat cheese. You can do everything with goat cheese. If you put it on a charcuterie board, blows almost every cheese out of the water. You know why the goat cheese is the best cheese? Not only can you why? because <laughs> because of its texture, it's creamy. So the fact that it's creamy, it means you can change things. You can add things, right? Once the last time you had a herb cheddar. Right? You could put herbs, spices, honey in it, and mold it in there, and it still becomes goat cheese. So you can put it on a cracker. You could put it on a with sausage. You could put it on a cracker with jelly. You can make, like I said, a goat cheese sandwich. You can put it in pasta. You can do all of these things with it. And just the goat cheese. Parm cannot just put parm in half. A grilled cheese sandwich cannot you have a could. grilled. Tell me, how did it taste? How was it? Well, let me tell you some. Everything. First so of I'm, all, I'm sorry. Answer the question first. The be- <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. <laughs> the best ask. part. If you can answer the question first. The best part of cheese to me is the melt <laughs> melting it. That's why your argument breaks down. Because you're right. Goat cheese is very Goat creamy. cheese melts amazingly. No, I know. So Does it? it? It's already creamy. It heats up and it just melts and becomes ooey and gooey. You know what it's else so is creamy tangy. and ooey and gooey? Nacho cheese. <laughs> right. Oh, the nacho cheese is not actually real cheese. Well, I can't, I, you know, I'm not a scientist. I can't attest to what. You let is. me know when I you go to the cheese. Madison Farmer's Market and you pick up a pound of nacho cheese <laughs> and I'll come running. What is with all these little, you're putting all you're, all these little prerequisites. Well, if right. you, you're I only know, talking right? about cheeses right. that you right. can get go a che- Because every time I say something, go cheese is like, I got you. Yeah, I'll be at the Farmer's Market. Check. Hmm? You want me on a sandwich? Check, check, check. You want to melt me? Check. You want to ask it to me? Check. You want to put me on pizza? Check. Oh, man. See? No, I'm just no, racking my you're brain so trying right. to think of downside. Mozzarella is so much better than goat cheese. Mozzarella. I'm glad you brought up pizza. Mozzarella is super fantastic. But very seldom are you just gnawing on mozzarella cheese. It is. It's. It needs to have something to it to boost up the flavor. Oh, I not feel like I should go wake like... up my daughter because you are wrong. Oh, yeah. String cheese? You're oh, you're string cheese? Oh, yeah. I feel right. for, the, for the undeveloped palate, for sure, then I lose. Now, see, let's this just is say what we're, this let's is. Let's just say we're all adults. This is a snobby take. That's let's what it is. Let's just say for you, we're all adults. Hypothetically. Go you know cheese. what's crazy? You know what's crazy? When your cool-ass kid that you <laughs> is sitting around eating goat cheese and everyone's See, like saying, horrible. I want to be like them. You're going to go out and sign. buy the mozzarella. If I take my, if I take my kid to... mozzarella sticks to take away their crew points, mm. my cheese is going to elevate their crudeness. Your cheese is going to make them exactly what you want them. If like I in... take my kid to Chuck E. Cheese, and then all the kids are chowing down on pepperoni, and, and he's like, "Hey, can I, uh, can I get a blue cheese on that, or a, a goat blue cheese, cheese. pizza?" Yeah. I, 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 that's my bad. I, I raised a bad kid. That kid's in trouble. Well, because you introduce them to the finer things in life. Just because 
Listen, if your only argument against goat cheese is that kids don't eat it. No, that's not my, my only kids, argument. My kids don't eat it. And I say to them, thank you. Because it's it's really expensive. For you. And I don't want to be wasting it on your punk ass fucking turkey sandwich. That's what this is. This is uh, for you. I don't deny goat cheese is very good, like you said. And for no, you, it's, it's your cheese. favorite. It's, 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 no, but it's not it the should best. Be every, it should be everyone's favorite. This it's is the just most an elitist vers- take. It's the most versatile. It's not an elitist take, dude. It's no one, you can't bring a goat cheese have pizza the to the party and expect success. <laughs> if you go to oh, the party with a goat cheese pizza, everyone's disappointed. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Yeah. That might be. You know what? That might be true. Uh, if I brought just a cheese pizza to the party, that also might be true. But if I bought a cheese pizza and everybody's like, you just brought cheese? And I was like, oh, wait, player. There's also goat cheese on it. Everybody be like, oh, what? <laughs> I don't think so. Would they? Listen, <laughs> I know that everyone disagrees with me. The point is, what it should be, not what it is. I right. know. I know. When I go out and buy goat cheese, I get like little 2.4 ounces because they don't sell a lot of it. But there's blocks of cheddar and American and stinky gruyere and all of this. But goat cheese is the most flexible cheese. And I'm telling you, if you just chop up some herbs, whatever your herbs are, and just mix it into the goat cheese and put it right back in the refrigerator and then spread it on some shit with some jam, you're going to be like, what the fuck have I been doing right my whole life? <laughs> you could put it on a burger. It's fantastic. Yeah. You could put it on steak. It's fantastic. You could just finger dip it and just, it's great. Go cheese is the cheese, baby. I don't know. I'm trying to get there. I am trying to. You're making. You know what? You're making me want to eat some goat cheese. You got to eat some goat cheese, man. And you got to try it in all of its. Listen, for sure, goat cheese is not the best cheese for pizza. That's mozzarella all day. But what I'm saying is, goat cheese can go. On a pizza. Oh, okay. So goat cheese is a good sidekick to ah, mozzarella, is what you're saying. No, I didn't say that at all, you word twister. I fucking never came close to saying that. I am saying why goat cheese is the best cheese is because of its versatility. I So it's just like, you know, it might not be the best at one particular thing, though I think it's the best on charcuterie, but other people might like other cheeses. I get that. There are thousands and thousands of cheeses out there that I've learned. You ever go to a, like a Whole Foods and go into their cheese section? You're like, but all right, now I hate Whole Foods because you got mm-hmm. all of these different Goudas or whatever. I get this all cheese. What I'm telling you, it does not have the versatility of a goat cheese. And the taste of goat cheese is really fucking good. Well, I don't want to fight you guys on this. I'm not going to fight you either. I will say, I I'm want gonna you guys give, to just back me on this. I'll back you up. I'm going to give goat cheese a second look. I will say, because normally, like if I'm at a restaurant and there's a salad or something, and there's one that's got blue cheese and one's got goat cheese, I always prefer to get the salad that's got the blue cheese, like the crumbles. Right. I like the crumbles. Right. And then but, you might go to something else. And then you'll be like, hey, you want you want this? You want a, a, a grilled cheese sandwich with blue cheese on it? And you're like, the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't want this. No, right? I do not it starts, it. it starts running. Blue cheese starts running this thing. Now, granted, a cheddar cheese can do a lot of things, but it's kind of like, all right, cheddar. <laughs> you're one note. Yeah. Yeah. Cheddar, cheddar's like McDonald's. It's good. It's accessible. It's yeah. safe. Right. It's safe. Healthy. That's exactly right. It's healthy. <laughs> yeah. Cheddar cheese is just safe. It's cheese. It's like, dude, I'm cheese. I'm melted. What the fuck you want from me? I'm about to fucking make some shit better. 
But you yeah. can get like degree. Like I love white cheddar, sharp white cheddar cheese. Fantastic. It's very amazing. Good. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. You're not gonna have me listen. You're not gonna have me shit on any cheeses. I love fucking cheese. What I'm telling you is, go cheese. It's like I got you. I got you. I got right. you. I got you. That's what go cheese. I can Aaron back you up. You that go me. cheese. Go cheese is that dude that's a that's a producer on the show, and he's like, hey man, is it cool? If I do three extra minutes, I got you. Hey, man, is it cool? I got to bounce to do another show. Can I move up early so I can bounce? I got you. That's yeah. good cheese. Hey, listen, I know a friend that's really funny. They'd be good on this show. Should I have them email you? Yeah, just email me. I got you. That's go cheese. Go cheese Sounds is like the I... dope. <laughs> go cheese is the dope producer that you can't throw a curveball to. Go Cheese runs a really loose show. Put that shit on a fucking put grab this a grab like some meatballs. Make meatballs, put marinara over it, and then just put a little dollop of goat cheese on it and put it in the oven for like a minute and just have that goat cheese melt on top, broil, and then eat it, and then start punching yourself in the face because you've gone this long without having goat cheese on a meatball or marinara. Probably won't All do right, that last that's, part, that's, but I, uh, I think that's my one hang up is that like you said, you love the texture. I think I would like if I was having meatballs and marinara, I want that melted like the way that mozzarella melts or the way that parmesan melts. That's the chewiness or whatever. I think that's like my hang up. But I'm gonna, but I'm gonna say this: you've convinced me to give it a second look with your passion. Salad. Go cheese is the cheese, baby. It's the cheese of all cheeses. All right. I'm going to, I will talk to uh, Aaron, have her add it to the grocery list. <laughs> and I'll get cheese. it. I will pick it up. Get two kinds. Get, get, get regular go cheese. Get regular go cheese. Get some herb go cheese. Play around with the palates. You know why they got different kind of flavor of cheeses? Because you can add shit to it. Because it's creamy. It's creamy. All right. You could also substitute dreamy. It's dreamy. Well, I'm backing you up. I, I'll, I'll, I'll back you up. Andrew, are you backing him up? Yes, I'm there too. I'm gonna. You convince me. Like I said, I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna go as far as to say is the best, but I will say I'm gonna give it a second look. Next time I'm at a restaurant or we're at the grocery store, I'm going goat cheese and in a uh, salad. That goat cheese is so tangy, and it goes well with the sweetness of the cranberries and all the sugar that they put in their little bullshit salad dressings. It's just a nice balance, and it hugs that arugula kale and spinach whatever else the fucking shit lettuce that you eat and it just <laughs> personal attack on my lettuce choices it's a personal <laughs> attack on everyone's lettuce choice well then what's the good lettuce i don't know they're all fucking necessary evils oh okay i'm an iceberg guy i'm an iceberg yeah. guy yeah no shocker shit. there shit shit <laughs> <laughs> No, hey, I'll sometimes I'll get risky. I'll go romaine. I'll go romaine. <laughs> <laughs> I right. never am like this lettuce. Oh my god! I, I do like arugula. I like. I think like arugula just tastes good to me. Right. It's Raw. got that buttery. Yeah, yeah arugula. Just like it's spicy. It's none of it's bad, but I'm never like, oh, this is. No, this I know. lettuce. But right you now, never, you never blow your wad over the lettuce, yeah, right? I never Don't shoot blow your wad over on lettuce. Look what I'm doing right now. I'm fingering this goat cheese. <laughs> is this is this podcast actually? Yeah. <laughs> well, good thing it's the audio. Uh well Dude, it's so creamy. Kevin. So stingy. Thank you so yeah. much for joining us on the cavalry. Do you have anything you can plug? Yeah, my new album is out, Black Superman. It's available on Friday. When is this podcast coming out? Drop it. Monday. Monday. Perfect. Perfect timing. My podcast, Black when Superman, my uh, album, Black Superman, will be available in everywhere you can stream, much like Go Cheese. The next album is Friday the 11th Cheese. or Friday the 4th? Friday the 4th. Oh, nice. Out. 
Sweet. It's coming out the fourth. Right now, it's available on Pandora. They just run it on, on Pandora exclusively. They ran it on Sirius last week. Now they run it on Pandora. And then it'll be available to the masses. Nice. Uh, so hopefully it does well. Generally, when I do shit that I really like, it doesn't do well. So we'll see. Well, go get it. Go get the album. Uh, Johnny, do you got anything coming up? You want to tell people? Uh, Milwaukee, I'm doing Copper Comedy. It's uh, in Dugout 54, I guess. I don't. I've never done it. But I'm doing that. And then uh, Wise Guys, February 18, 19. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm in uh, Minneapolis, February 25th, 26th. And Bozeman, Montana, March 4th. So if you're in, but that's actually a fun room. So if you're in Bozeman, come out to a show. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Uh, Patreon for the we're about to hit the post show banner. So if you want to do that, you got to be a member of the Patreon. And that's it. Oh wait, so wait, you guys got to have a podcast for the. Yeah, we do a podcast, podcast about the podcast. Huh? That's weird. <laughs> that's but Johnny, hey, we're not the office. We're not the Drew Barrymore that is show super, here. But Johnny, super weird. Johnny's not mad about it because it's it's us. All right, yeah, that's yeah. it. Thanks for listening right. to the Cavalry. Uh-huh, the Cavalry.